welcome to my presentation about affordable machine learning platform. Where data is becoming the new oil, the ability to harness uh, this data through machine learning and artificial intelligence is no longer a luxury reserved for large corporations. It has become a necessity for bases of all size, researchers, and individual developers. However, the journey to effective machine learning can often seem expensive. High costs, complex infrastructures, and the need for specialized hardware can create significant barriers to entry. Many small businesses, startups, and individual developers find themselves wondering, how can we leverage the power of machine learning without breaking the bank? This is where affordable machine learning platforms come into play. These platforms democratize success to machine learning capabilities, providing cost-effective, scalable, and user-friendly solutions to build, deploy, and manage machine learning models. They are designed to lower the barriers, enabling you to tell data into actionable insights, regardless of your budget. Today, we will explore the landscape of a football machine learning platform understand their key features, and learn how they can be utilized to maximize efficiency, minimizing costs. Thank you for joining us. Let's get started. Before we dive into the details, let me walk through today's agenda. We will cover the following topics. We will start with an overview of what an affordable machine learning platform is and why it's essential in today's data-driven world. We will identify the key stakeholders and user groups who benefit the most from affordable machine learning platform. Then we will break down the essential components of a machine learning platform, explaining which parts are necessary for affordable machine learning platforms. We will dive deeper into the technical aspects that make an affordable machine learning platform efficient and powerful. Let's begin with the first topic. What's an affordable machine learning platform? To start, let's define what a machine learning platform is. A machine learning platform is a comprehensive environment that provides the necessary tools, frameworks, and the infrastructure to develop, train, deploy, and manage machine learning models. It streamlines the entire machine learning workflow from data pre-processing and the model building to deploy. An affordable machine learning platform is usually designed to work effectively with a single or few GPUs, focusing on the importance of resource sharing to ensure the cost efficiency and broad accessibility. So the key point of affordability is GPU sharing. Who needs this machine learning platform? Before answering this question, I'm going to discuss why sharing GPUs is crucial in creating an affordable machine learning platform. First, let's talk about the cost. High performance GPUs, which are necessary for running complex machine learning tasks, come with a price tag. For many startups, small businesses, and individual researchers, this cost can be a significant barrier to entry. Consider that GPUs are often idle out of regular working hours. In many organizations, these expensive resources sit on use after the workday ends, leading to inefficiency. Most applications have G CPU and IO work in between launching GPU kernel. The GPU utilization of a deep learning model Running solely on the GPU is most of the time, much less than 100%. It means even during working hours, there can be periods when CPUs are not fully utilized. GPUs are getting powerful each year. Experimenting with a new model allows and sometimes even requires one to use smaller hyperparameters, making the model use much less GPU memory than normally. Such tasks lead to underutilization and inefficiency. Typically, 
GPUs are the most expensive part of a machine learning platform, and also the component that most affects platform utilization. Increasing G uh, GPU utilization is key to reducing costs and building an affordable machine learning platform. About who needs this platform? First, let's talk about startups and small businesses. The key for startups and small businesses is to respond flexibility, flexible to market demands at a low cost. When building a machine learning platform, they shouldn't invest heavily from the start. Instead, they should look for cost-effective solutions that can scale as their needs grow. Next, educational institutions, including universities and research labs, need to provide students with hands-on experience in completing end-to-end -end machine learning tasks. While modern GPUs might be overkill for education, an affordable machine learning platform can offer practical exposure to industry practices without the excessive. This approach enables students to gain valuable skills and experience while helping institutions manage their budgets effectively. Nonprofit organizations often work on tight budgets and need to maximize their impact with limited resources. They can use machine learning to analyze data, optimize operations, and drive their missions more effectively. An affordable machine learning platform provides them with the necessary computational power without diverting too much of their funds from their primary objectives. Freelancers and consultants in the field of data science and machine learning independently or in small teams, access to an affordable machine learning platform allows them to offer competitive services and solutions to their clients without the need to invest heavily in expensive hardware. It can help them maintain flexibility and scalability in their operations. In summary, an affordable machine learning platform can significantly benefit various groups. Before introducing the affordable machine learning platform, I would like to first introduce what components a typical machine learning platform should consist of. Here I used a simplified diagram. Through this diagram, we can see that a typical machine learning platform can be simply divided from top to bottom into uh, action play, uh, application layer, infrastructure layer, and hardware layer. In the application layer, it's divided into machine learning parts and data parts. Let's talk about machine learning part first. Typically, a machine learning part is divided into four subparts data engineering, experiments, training, and inference. Data engineering is responsible for, for, for collecting cleaning and preparing data to ensure it's reliable and suitable for machine learning tasks. The experiment phase involves exploring and analyzing data, testing different algorithms, and creating model prototypes to find the best solution. The training phase focuses on training models using historical data and uh, multiplying optimizing their parameters to achieve the best performance. The inference phase involves developing a uh, deploying trained models into production environments to make prediction on new data. <coughs> data parts is also an indispensable part of the machine learning platform. Data related sub parts usually includes a uh, feature store, model management, and uh, data lake. The feature store is responsible for storing and serving data, serving feature data consistently across training and inference to ensure reproducibility. Model management involves tracking and visioning uh, machine learning models, driving collaboration and managing model de deployment pipelines. The data lake serves as a centralized repository for serving vast amounts of raw and processed data, enabling efficient data retrieval and uh, analysis. However, to create an affordable machine learning platform, 
we have decided not to include the data components at this date. The reason for this is that our target users typically handle smaller data sites and there's no immediate need to establish an, a dedicated data platform at this point. Moreover, data platforms and machine learning platform can be decoupled. That as our business scales up in the future, we can build a dedicated platform, data platform separately. So for the affordable machine learning platform, the scope is a dark color part in the diagram. The machine learning part and the infrastructure part. I will uh, deep dive into the most critical technical points in these two parts. The scalable container environments and the GPU sharing. To better understand the requirements for scalable container environments, Let's revisit some typical basic scenarios. Educational institutions often operate with a single machine equipped with a few GPU cards. Suitable for classroom use and small scale research projects. Startups and small businesses typically have a setup consisting of a few pieces, each with GPUs ideal for initial product development and small scale deployment. Freelancers and consultants usually work with a single PC equipped with only one GPU, which is perfect for individual projects and consultancy work. Then we could find that there is a conflict. From the business scenario perspective, the hardware setup may consist of only one or few PCs. However, Building a machine learning platform requires multiple container environments, including experimental, training, and inference environments. To manage these environments effectively, we need to introduce Kubernetes. The introduction of Kubernetes requires at least three nodes. The challenge now becomes how to deploy Kubernetes on a single PC while ensuring compatibility for potential multi-node expansion. The answer is to introduce OpenStack. To further illustrate our needs, consider a typical basis scenario where the initial hardware setup consists of only one PC. As the basis grows, the hardware may expand to multiple physical machines or virtual machines and potentially uh, transition to a cloud environment. This challenge then shift to ensuring compatibility with heterogeneous hardware environments while maintaining scalability. OpenStack is well suited to address this issue. As shown in the diagram on the OpenStack web website, it excels in heterogeneous hardware compatibility. OpenStack also provides a dedicated single machine deployment, uh, deployment tutorial, making it a perfect fit for our requirements. Additionally, since OpenStack provides a virtual machine environment, it allows for seamless transition to either a self-hosted cloud or public cloud environment in the future, without disrupting the operation of the Kubernetes cluster and machine learning platform. This diagram illustrates the potential life cycle of a typical affordable machine learning platform. In the initial phase, OpenStack is used to support single machine setups and ensure compatibility with heterogeneous hardware. As the platform evolves, OpenStack continues to provide compatibility with more complex environments, including cloud infrastructure. In later stage, OpenStack can be seamlessly removed to other container environments directly enhancing flexibility and scalability. Next, I will introduce one of the most uh, critical technologies in building an affordable machine learning platform. Before diving deep into the technical details, let's first understand the mainstream GPU sharing solutions and their applicable scenarios from a big picture perspective. Machine learning tasks use NVIDIA GPUs we will start by looking at several official NVIDIA solutions, including multi-instance GPU, which is MIG, 
GPU time sharing, and multi-process service, which is MPS. We can see that MIG allows true parallelism for multiply, multiple tasks on the same GPU with the highest level of isolation, making it suitable for inference tasks and small-scale training tasks, although it's also the most expensive option, which we will discuss in detail later. GPU time sharing involves time slicing in a single GPU, which causes context switching between different tasks, leading to increased, uh, increased uh, total task time, uh, making it unsuitable for latency sensitive inference tasks, but more suitable for relatively asynchronous uh, training tasks. The last solution, MPS, is the earliest GPU sharing solution, which merges multiple tasks into a single GPU contest that if one task fail, all tasks will fail. Thus, it's only suitable for experimental scenarios. Among third-party solutions, they will primarily introduce Tencent's TKE, Gagia, GPU. Let's now dive into the principles of those solutions and their advantages and disadvantages. MIG is a technology that allows a single NVIDIA GPU to be partitioned into multiple isolated instances. Each of these instances has its own dedicated resources, such as memory, compute cores, and bandwidth. This separation ensures that multiple workloads can run simultaneously on the same GPU without affecting each other, thus maximizing uh, resource uh, utilization and uh, performance. The primary advantage of IMIG is the strong isolation it provides between different tasks. By dedicating specific resources to each, uh, each uh, instance, one task from impacting the performance or stability of another. This makes IMIG particularly suitable for environments that vary the workloads. Additionally, MIG allows to, uh, for precise resources allocation, enabling efficient use of GPU capabilities and improving overall system scalabilities. However, here is an important drawback to consider. The cost of using MIG can be very high, as only NVIDIA's high-performance professional GPUs support this technology. As shown in the table on the right, the minimal requirement is the NVIDIA A30 to support IMIG, which doesn't align with the goal of a football machine learning platform. Let's talk about the next candidate, GPU time sharing. NVIDIA time slashing is a feature that allows a single GPU to be shared by multiple uh, processes or users by dividing the GPU's computer resources into time slice. Each process or user gets a dedicated time slice during which they have full access to the GPU's resources. This enables multiple tasks to run on the same GPU in a sequential manner, providing the illusion of parallel processing while ensuring that each task gets a fair share of the GPU's capabilities. One of the key advantage of time slicing is the increased flexibility and better result utilization. It allows multiple users or processes to share a single GPU without the need for partitioning its hardware resources physically. There are some disadvantages to uh, time slicing. In a time slicing setup, multiple processes share the same pool of v VRAM, uh, leading to potential memory contention. If one process consumes a large amount of VRAM, it can leave in sufficient memory for other tasks, causing performance degradation or failures. Additionally, the shared memory spaces increases the risk of where inefficient memory management by one process can gradually consume more VRAM, impacting the performance and the stability of other processes. Regarding for the isolation, Time slicing doesn't provide a strict isolation between processes. If one process encounters a fault or crashes, it can potentially affect other processes sharing the same GPU resources. Lack of isolation can lead to system instability and unpredictable 
performance, making it challenging to ensure reliable operation in production environments. Next solution is NVIDIA MPS. The core principle of MPS lies in, allo uh, lies in allowing uh, multiple processes to share a single GPU context. Traditionally, each CUD application would create its own GPU context, leading to resource usage and uh, context switching overhead. By sharing a single context, MPS reduces its inefficiencies. Additionally, MPS merge command queue from different processes into a single queue, thereby facilitating more efficient scheduling and execution of command, which in turn minimize GPU idle time. One of the primary advantage of NVIDIA uh, MPS is performance improvement. By reducing context switching and managing command more efficiently, MPS can significantly enhance the performance of concurrent processes. Furthermore, compared to MIG and uh, time slicing, MPS supports consumer grade GPU. Notable disadvantages associated with MPS. One of the key issue is the memory isolation. The shared GPU context results in less strict memory isolation compared to uh, separate contests. This can lead to memory contention and potential data security concerns. Another significant drawback is fault isolation. If one process is in counters fault, it can impact other processes sharing the same GPU context. Configuring and debugging MPS can be complex and requires specialized knowledge and experience. Outside of official solutions, many third-party vendors have proposed their own GPU sharing solution. A typical example is Tencent's Gaia GPU. Tencent provides a complete side of GPU sharing solutions, which is a fully open-source GPU sharing solution. In Gaia GPU, it's a GPU resource limitation component and belongs to CUDA hijacking. We could manage each container's memory usage by intercepting CUDA's memory allocation and release requests, thereby achieving memory isolation. The only thing to note is that a complex application uh, context application doesn't go to uh, go through the malloc function, so it's impossible to know how much memory the process uses in the context. Therefore, we could acquire the current memory usage from the GPU each time. In terms of computing power isolation, users can specify the GPU utilization rate for uh, con containers. We could will monitor utilization and take some actions when it uh, Access the limit, both hard isolation and soft isolation are supported. Since a monitoring adjustment scheme is used, computing power cannot be limited in a short period. Only long-term efficiency fairness can be guaranteed. Therefore, it's uh, not suitable for scenarios where task, uh, task times are uh, extremely short, such as uh, inference tasks. Machine learning platforms are extremely broad uh, topic, and even if we limit the scope to building an affordable machine learning platform, there are still many insights to share. However, I believe that GPU sharing and the scalable container environment are among the most critical aspects. A few years ago, while developing, while I was developing a machine learning platform, we successfully run our platforms mostly on a small PC cluster with only a few uh, machines thrown in the picture. This demonstrated that by applying the technological solutions previously mentioned, we can indeed build an affordable machine learning platform aimed at education institutions, NGOs, freelancers, and uh, startups. Finally, I hold my insight have provided valuable guidance and uh, inspiration for your own affordable machine learning platform endeavors. And uh, thank you all for joining this online session.